This is Back to the Future Part 3 and I am very, very excited for it because we are going so far back into the Wild West, my favourite and also Doc's favourite place to be obviously because that's what he said where he wanted to go. Um, would I go there if I had a time machine? Probably not because I would die. Not because I would get shot, because of all the horses. <laughs> I loved, 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 loved the first one and I loved, 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 loved the second one. I don't know which one I preferred, I think equally. So I'm really, really, really hoping that this one is going to be the same. Let me do a great big, great big fat shout out to our top tier patrons who are Thomas Ammon, Robert Inman, Rob Jones, Mike Phil Philippi, Philippi, Len Anacod, <laughs> Lee Pittman, Ethan Furl, Eric Bonham, Eric, Bill Bryant and Alonzo Torres and if I have said any of those names wrong I'm very very sorry let me know and I will pronounce it properly next time maybe. If you like this video please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning to stay and you haven't already then please subscribe also comment post notification do all those things and I'll love you forever and check out Patreon because there's lots happening over there um, and I think we're just ready to play. Back to the future part three and play. <laughs> I bloody love that song. <laughs> and I love you. I love your face. <laughs> he makes me happy. He makes me so happy. <laughs> it's funny how he ignores him here. <laughs> From the future. Yeah. And you're going to the old Wild West. It's <laughs> I'm so happy. Hey kids, what time is it? Howdy doody. Howdy doody. Howdy doody time. <laughs> what the hell's a howdy doody? After that, I can't recall what happened. In fact, I don't even remember how I got home. What, do, do you not know that he's there? This is the original Doc, but he's not the original Marty. Sort of image. Ah! Ah! Did you not see him lying there? <laughs> Fortunately, this proved impossible because suitable replacement parts will not be invented until 1947. Oh, that's ages away. And fixing wagons. 1885. Mm-hmm. I actually end up as a blacksmith in the Old West. Pretty heavy, huh? Oh I, oh, I almost cried there because I was thinking of the date, 1885. And then I started to think of the Marx Brothers. <laughs> and it made me feel really emotional. Do not. I repeat, do not attempt to come back here to get me. Well, they're going to come back there. Einstein! He's your dog, Doc. Einstein, it's what you call your dog in 1985. Oh, yeah, because we're in 55. This is so bloody confusing. And think on you with fond memories, warm feelings, and a special place in my heart. Your friend in time. Your friend in time. I never knew I could write anything no, so touching. No, Doc, it's beautiful. It's very emotional, especially when you think of the Marx Brothers at the same time. <laughs> I must be hormonal today. There are plenty worse places to be than the old west. I could have ended up in the dark ages. I wanted you to go to the dinosaurs. It's the time. Oh my god, how freaking cute is he? <laughs> I love a doggy. What? I'm so confused. Oh, microchip. The attached. Oh no, I get it, I get it. I've got it. No wonder this circuit failed. It says made in Japan. All the best stuff is made in Japan. Unbelievable. What? <laughs> it is, isn't it? I don't get it. <laughs> Not in his time then. What's wrong, Capernicus? Come on. Oh, no. Come on, let's go home. Come on. 85? That's the same year. Doc! Doc! Covered his eyes. <laughs> I love it when he does that. 
<laughs> oh, great Scott. Yeah, great Scott. In eternal memory by his beloved Clara. Who the hell is Clara? What? Who shot him? Shot in the back by whom? By Buford Tannen over a matter of eighty dollars. Whose short temper and a tendency to drool earned him the. <laughs> I don't see it true. put new tires on the DeLorean. I'm going back to 1885 and I'm bringing you home. Oh, yes, they're both going back. Aren't yous? Oh, no, you can't. Because if you see each other, then... Yeah, so it's just the one he used to go back. Haven't you ever seen a Western? Yeah, I have, Doc. And Clint Eastwood never wore anything like this. No, he did not. You need a poncho. Yeah, Doc, it's going to be a hell of a long walk back to Hill Valley from here. You don't want to crash into some tree that once existed in the past. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good thinking. If I drive straight towards the screen, I'm going to crash into those Indians. And those Indians won't even be there. Right. They are going to be there, though. So. See you in the future. You mean the past? Exactly. <laughs> God, I bloody love these movies. I told you. I told you they'd be there. <laughs> Why are they not even phased by it? They're not even bothered. <laughs> They're like, we can take this machine. Okay. Oh, that was really lucky. You're gonna be buggered because you look different, you talk different. You're gonna get you're gonna get shot. Oh your boots! Get your boots on. I give you 30 seconds, you're gonna get shot. <laughs> wow. Oh god, imagine that going through you. Oh, Damn, I ripped the fuel line. Oh no, you won't. I didn't think I was scared of bears, but I, I think I'm pr pretty scared of bears. <laughs> Maggie! Fetch some water, we got a hearts man here! Wait, that's your great. Great, great granddad, great, great, great granddad. I don't know. It's one of them. Mom. Oh, here we go again. Mom, is that you? It was just a dream. I had a bad nightmare. Six hours now. I had this horrible nightmare. Mm -hmm. Stop thinking it's a nightmare. Who oh, are you? Well, what does she think you? McFly. Maggie McFly. McFly. What does she think you are? Because. And what might your name be, sir? Well, it's Mc. Eastwood. <laughs> uh, Clint. <laughs> Clint Eastwood? <laughs> Not too serious, but lucky for you, Seamus found you when he did. But hey, listen, you can see that there's a resemblance between him and the granddad. Maggie! Yeah, these two... I've got supper. Come on, woman, are you blind? Would you like some water? Uh, yeah. What are they eating? What kind of animal is that? Um, oh my god, the colour of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's poop water. Strange young man. Aye, but I've just got a feeling about him, Maggie. And after him's the right thing to do. Well, of course he looks exactly like you. Come on, Bobby takes to him. Little Will never takes to strangers. It's almost as if... He looks exactly like you. <laughs> Why is she not seeing this? Ah, hilarious. Oh. Were there no nappies? And you peed on me. Interesting. What did they use instead of nappies? I need to look that up. I'm going to Google that. Google nappies. Wow. I love it. I want, I want to live in a place like that so forever. And take baths in front of everyone. <laughs> Clock tower, right. I don't think that hat goes with your outfit. I didn't know the circus was in town. <laughs> Must have got that shirt off on a dead Chinese. Oh, that guy sounds like the guy from, oh my God, what was he in? Liberty Valance. In here, we pour whiskey. And nothing else. <laughs> That's all you get. 
<laughs> it's gonna burn. Thought I done told you never to come in. You want Seamus McFly? No, but you would think it was him because it is him. Especially wear a dog ugly hat. <laughs> I agree. I'm sorry, but I agree. I'm looking for that no good cheating blacksmith. You seen him? No, sir, Mr. Tannen, I have not. Well, this is over that $80. You mad dog Tannen. I hate that name. I hate it. You hear? Why? It's the best name. Call me my dog. I would take that. You can dance better than that! Run. What the hell is that? Oh, I think I know what that is. That's tobacco spit spit it out, is it? That's where they spit the tobacco. <laughs> oh no. I don't like that either, because I know that that happens in real life. Or happened. <laughs> happened in real life. Here we go. It's here, guys. We're all good. Imagine he accidentally shot him. 500 yards, Tannen! And it's pointed straight in your head! Do it. Just do it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Nobody will do anything. Wrong! See, I was on my horse when it threw the shoe and I got thrown off! And that caused me to <laughs> So from now on, you better be looking behind you when you walk. Because one day you're going to get a bullet in your back. That's very tense, isn't it? Doc, Marty, I gave you explicit instructions. Yeah, but there's reason for it. Tell him. Tell him. But it's good to see you, Marty. Oh. <laughs> Tell him. What idiot dressed you in that outfit? You. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. And who's this beloved Clara? I don't know anyone named Clara. I don't know, Doc. I thought maybe she was a girlfriend of yours. He's not got time for girls. Here in 1885, the result is a disruption of the space time continuum. I think he just says space time continuum like randomly, just puts it in all his sentences now and again. Teacher at the station when she came in. Oh, yes, quite so. Well, we just got word she's coming in tomorrow. And it'll be Clara. Her name's Miss Clayton. Clara Clayton. There you go. You must fall in love with her really quick. Ice cube! <laughs> it's an ice cube. All that for an ice cube. Oh, listen, Doc, it tore a hole in the gas tank when I was landing, so we're gonna have to patch it up and get some gas. You mean we're out of gas? There's no gas. Without gasoline, you can't get the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour. I knew that. Oh, I know so how you can. Use horses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so clever. I'm just a bloody genius, telling you. 24! Four. Horses can run faster than that, surely. Oh, how the hell else are you gonna do it? Hmm. Hmm. To push it up to 88 miles an hour. Huh? What oh, a train. But according to this map, there is no bridge. Well, Doc, scratch that idea. Oh. Well, if you. But if you drop off the side, then you'll go 88 and you'll just be going down instead of across. 1985. It's safe and still in use. Therefore, as long as we get the DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour. Before you get there, yeah. Instantaneously arrive at a point in time where the bridge is completed. And if you don't, then what? You both die. Great Scott! God, I freaking love you. Great Scott! Go save your woman. That was almost you. You saved my life. Oh, look at you two. Clara Clayton. Kiss her. Kiss her. Clara. Yeah, kiss her. Aww. <laughs> wow. 
That would be very gentlemanly of you, Mr. Brown. Uh, Emmett. Oh! <laughs> what do you mean you can be seeing lots of her talk? Well, I might see her again just in passing. <laughs> Clayton Ravine was named after a teacher. They say she fell in there a hundred years ago. hundred years ago? <gasps> That's this year! Oh, no! And she was supposed to go over on that Yeah, lab. you stopped it! Now, I may have seriously altered history. Yes, big time. What's the worst that can happen, huh? So they don't name the ravine after her. They won't make the bridge. We'll stop it here, uncouple the cars from the tender, throw the switch track, and then we'll hijack, borrow the locomotive, and use it. How do you hijack a train? That's not going to be easy. At which point we'll be instantaneously transported back to 1985 and coast safely across the... I don't know, I don't know. Up until there, we still have enough time to stop the locomotive before it plunges into the ravine. But once we pass this windmill, it's the future or bust. What, what speed do you need to be going when you get to that point, so that you know? <gasps> it's a lover. From the wagon, my telescope was damaged. Since you mentioned an interest in science... Look, look at his face! Of oh, course. No, no, no. I wouldn't think of charging you for this. Well, let's have a look at it. I love that he's in love. But if you turn it the other way... Everything becomes clear. <laughs> kiss her! Kiss her, kiss her, kiss her. Thank you for taking care of my telescope. You're quite welcome. Aww. Does he have new boots yet? To the people of Hill County! Yeah. May it stand for all time! It stands, but it doesn't work for all time. The only problem is we'll never be able to show it to anybody. Smile, Doc. Wait, that's the picture, but why is he not in it? That's the picture that we saw. I love it when a man or a woman is so obsessed with someone else. Like, they just don't care about anyone else. Not like in a bad way, not in a creepy way. In a gentleman way. What's wrong with me? I want to, I'm going to cry for him because I'm so happy. <laughs> Doc. Doc's in love. The dog can dance. <laughs> Have you ever felt like that about someone that you've just met and you're just like totally obsessed with them? Love. Love at first sight and it's just like you can't think about anything else apart from that person. How are you such a good shot? Tell me one thing, where did you learn to shoot like that? 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven? Is that a computer game? Or is it is a shooting range? I don't know what 7-Eleven is. Get a gun in a man's back. Just like you, Tanner, I take every advantage I can get. Now you're gonna check your eye Look at the little boy. The only party I'll be smiling at is the one that sees you at the end of a rope. <laughs> <laughs> he said words. That's how you handle them, son. Never give them an inch and maintain discipline at all times. Remember that word, discipline. Exactly. You teach him right. Hey, Frisbee, far out. <laughs> what was the meaning of that? It was right in front of him. Right. <laughs> Where? Over there, dancing with that piece of calico. Piece of what? If I bury this muzzle deep enough in his back, nobody will hear the shot. Careful, Buford. You ain't got but one bullet with that. I only need one. What? Well, it's today the day that he's supposed to get shot. I wouldn't give you that pleasure. You'll just have to go ahead and shoot. All right. No, no, Emmett, I'll dance with him, Emmett. Boy, I'll dance keep with him. No. Yeah. I bet there's something you can do that's worth $80. Yeah, it's... I believe you've underestimated me, mister. You should have done it in the balls. I damn you to hell! Whoa! His <laughs> heart went flying. Hey, lighten up, jerk! <laughs> Look, just leave my friends alone. Oh, what's wrong, dude? You yell up! Oh, for God's sake. Not this again. That's what I thought. Yellow belly. Yellow belly. 
What does yellow belly mean? What does that actually mean? Like I said, we'll finish this tomorrow. Tomorrow we're robbing the Pan City stage. But Monday, we're doing anything Monday. <laughs> yeah, right. When? High noon? I do my killing before breakfast. Seven o'clock! Well, that's early. Do my killing after breakfast. Marty. <laughs> all right, now break it up. What's all this about? You causing trouble here, Tannen? Yes, always. Any brawling? It's 15 days in the county jail. All right, folks, come on. This is a party. Come on, let's have some fun. I really like that shadow. Martin used to let men provoke him into fight. Never consider the future poor Martin. God rest his soul. Yeah, learn from what he's telling you. Sure, and I hope you're considering the future, Mr. Eastwood. Take a telling. Nothing wrong with being called a chicken. That one's called Copernicus. <laughs> Listen to me, I feel like I'm teaching school. <laughs> he likes it though. I never met a woman who liked Jules Friend before. Oh, oh, oh. I never ever met a man like you before. Yes! Do it. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you missed the shooting star. Doc! <laughs> I saw your butt. <laughs> Just one butt cheek. You talking to me, Tannen? It's quite a big gun. Good luck tomorrow, Mr. Eastwood. We'll be praying for you. Good morning, Mr. Eastwood. Oh, God. Interest you in a new suit for tomorrow? Ah, uh, I'm, I'm fine. He means for after. Look at that, the tombstone. Marty, let me see that photograph. It's the same one. My name, it's vanished. Hey, that's what? great, Doc. Don't you get it? We're going back yeah, to the future. Your name's going to replace it. <laughs> I just need to take your measurement. Oh, look, pal, I don't want to buy a suit. It's for your coffin, <laughs> no, man. for your coffin. <laughs> Odds are running two to one against you. Might as well be prepared. <laughs> you heard what that son of a bitch called me last night? Marty, you can't go losing your judgment every time someone calls you a name. Yeah, plus if you kill him, then it's just going to cause more problems in the for future, Marty and Doc. Marty. Yeah? I've made a decision. I'm not going with you tomorrow. <sighs> I'm staying here. I knew he was going to do that. I knew that was going to happen. Doc, we don't belong here. The future isn't written can be changed, you know that. Yeah, I was going to say, if I was a crazy old lonely man and I was time traveling and I found love in somewhere, anywhere, I would stay there, of course I would. So you tell me, what's the right thing to do up here? Scientists still deserve love. You're right, Marty. Plus, if there's a doc in the past and the present and the future, then they can all help each other. I've at least got to tell her goodbye. I'm not gonna understand that, Doc. Hell, I'm in it with you and I don't even understand it. He could say something else. He could say he's dying. I don't know, maybe we can just take Clara with us. Uh, Future? Yeah, do that. That sounds like fun. I caution you about disrupting the continuum for your own personal benefit. Therefore, I must do no less. Yeah, but that's a good personal benefit. Like, the best one. Won't you come in? No, I better not. I... She'll want to go to the future. Well, I'm afraid I'll never see you again. Oh, damn it. Don't break our heart. But I realize that I don't belong here and I have to go back where I came from. And where might that be? I can't tell you. Tell her. She'll want to come. Well, wherever you go and take me with you. Yes. See? Please, damn it. Please, I have to know. If, if you sincerely do love me, then tell me the truth. Tell her. Tell her the real truth. I'm from the future. I'm partial to the writings of Jules Verne. You concocted those mendacities in order to take- No. That's not what he did. Say is I don't love you and I don't want to see you anymore. That at least would have been respectful. But that's not the truth. Sure the car. Sure the hoverboard. This is sad. I think she wants to go. She needs to go with him. Sarsaparilla. Whiskey, Chester. Whiskey. I have sarsaparilla. I just haven't tried it yet. I'm waiting for the right movie. Do the wrong thing. And you can leave the bottle. <gasps> oh. It's that you never know what the future might bring. Oh, I can tell you about the future. He knows. He knows everything about the future and everything about everything. I think she still goes. Doc! 
it's going to have to be that nobody dies. So the the gravestones going to have to just disappear altogether. Of course we run, but for recreation. Run for fun? What the hell kind of fun is that? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Running is not fun. How much has he had? None. That's the first one. He hadn't touched it yet. What? <laughs> Likes to hold it and pretend. Damn it, no! <gasps> What's it do? Oh. Whoa! How many do you have? Just the one. Just the one? <laughs> How far does the eight o'clock train go? Well, San Francisco is the end of the line. I'll take a one-way ticket. To San Francisco? Where's where about San Francisco again? She's just going further west. You should go that way. You should go east. In about ten minutes, he's gonna be as sober as a priest on Sunday. Lovely. What was in that? Oh, and stand back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, something inside me told me I should be here. As if my future had something to do with it. Are you an Irish one? It's going to be Seamus that dies. All right, you got the gumps. Oh. oh, it's gonna be Seamus that dies, I'm pretty sure. I think you ain't nothing but a gutless yellow turd! And I'm giving you- Oh, for God's sake. You gotta get out there, son. I got $20 gold bet on you, so don't let me down! <laughs> Cause if you don't go out there- What? Fire! He sounds so much like that guy. The guy that's the- the- I think it was Liberty Valance he was in. Here. No, I'm thinking of someone else. It's not, that's not who I'm thinking of. I'm gonna Google that. I think he voices a cartoon. I said that's 10, you gutless yellow pie slinger. There he goes, he's drooling now. I don't care what Tannen says. And I don't care what anybody else says either. Oh, is that you fixed then? Are you gonna be fine if anyone calls you a chicken now? That poor fella last night had the worst case of broken heart I have ever seen. Aww. Knowing how much hurt he caused that little girl, I really felt for him. I did, right here. Oh, she's going to stop the train. She's going to stop. Oh, but then, yeah, and then she'll get to go with them. Carl, with great big brown puppy dog eyes and long silvery flowing hair. Yes. You know him. Yes, especially the eye part. Is he going to have a bulletproof um, thing underneath his poncho? Bro! No! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thought we could settle this like men! You thought wrong, dude. It's okay, it's fine. It was in his chest. <laughs> 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 Where did you steal that idea from, I wonder? Ah! Holy crap! Ah! Oh, what the hell is that and why is it green? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, he knows how to fight. Well, he knows how to punch. Get him out of that shit. Get him! Oh, is it shit? Whose shit is it? Why is it green? Look! Yay! That's what I knew was gonna happen. The train! Can we make it? Go get the girl! Time machine. Ah, you believe him now? Ah. Wait, how, how are you gonna get to the car, though? I'm so confused. Oh, you need to hijack the train first, right. Right, good luck, guys. But I really hope that she catches up to you. I wanted to do that all my life! Well, now I do. They treat it to burn harder and longer. I use them in my pores so I don't have to stoke it. Here was me thinking that they had to somehow get into the car while the train was, like, at full speed. 
How do you get into the car? What are you staying? Why? What, what happens after it hits 2000? The whole boiler explodes! She's right there! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, she's flying! She was horizontal! <laughs> <laughs> it's never gonna hear you. What she oh she's gonna hit the brakes. You can. Look at his crazy hair. <laughs> oh god, this is so cute. This is going to be fun showing her everything in the future. Come on. You're almost there. Holy crap, her hair could have got caught in the wheel. Jesus Christ. And they still don't even know if it's going to reach 88 miles an hour. <laughs> what her hair? I had someone help. <laughs> right, come on. Come on, we can do this. Well done, Doc. Where are you going? Where the hell are you going? Get in the car! Oh, I thought that the dog and the girl was going to go with them. I wanted them all to go back to the future together. <laughs> Eastwood Ravine? <laughs> right, okay. Oh, that thing just crumbled. No chance of building that again. Especially without the dock. Jesus Christ. Wait, is there one in 55? Is it, Are you in 55 or 85? 85. Is there a dock here or no? Hey, Marty, who are you supposed to be? Clint Eastwood? <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. And he pulls it off well. Next green line. No, thanks. What's the matter? Chicken. Chicken? He's not gonna care. He's cured. No, 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 no. Her his face. He's a nutter. <laughs> He's grown up. Jeez. Uh huh. What have hit that Rolls Royce? Uh huh. What the hell? <laughs> What? He built a time machine train. Stop, <laughs> it runs on steam! Ah, uh, there she is! Yay! Meet the family! Clara, you know! Hi, Marty! Ma'am! Who else is there? These are our boys! Jules! <laughs> boys? This is Marty and Jennifer. Wow. I'm so happy for him. <laughs> Look at him. I can't get over that photo. <laughs> That's the best photo ever taken in, in the whole of the world. Your future is whatever you make it. So make it a good one. Both of you. Brilliant advice, Doc. Everyone take note. Wow. Look at it. Imagine looking out your window and seeing that. <laughs> they knew it was going to be the end. There was no to be continued. Well done. Well, that's it. That's all the Back to the Futures done. Finito. No more. And I have to do another best movie ever. I don't do it. Did I? Yeah, I did. I think I enjoyed it. 
just as much as the first two, especially because we were in the Wild West and it just, it made me so happy. I, I don't think it was as good as the first two, but I enjoyed it as much. As, does that make sense? I enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed the first two. I, but I will totally, totally understand if people are like, yeah, the third one wasn't as great. It still gets the best movie ever from me. I am not even going to sit here and try and work out which Doc was which, which Marty was which, which time machine was which, and which, like the dogs as well, like how, you would have to actual sit with like a really long, long, long piece of paper and try and write out the timeline and whenever they like went back and forth and, and stuff. I bet someone's done that actually, it's gonna be on Google. It would be interesting to see. And it would also, I want to know, I want to, there's certain movies that I like to know movie mistakes and if they, mucked up at any time through it and this is one like i'd like to know what everyone everyone would be like oh that would never happen because of this and that would never happen because of that that's what i want to know because it wouldn't make me not like the movies i wouldn't like them any less i think it's just interesting right oh the guy hold on the guy from the saloon with a foot with a funny voice he was the sheriff in robin hood and I was getting mixed up because there was someone from Liberty Valance that was the... Oh my god, what was he? Friar Tuck! Okay, so I, f I figured it out. That's why, because it's the voices, because their voices are very unique. So the guy that was in the saloon, in Back to the Future, the one that we just watched, is the sheriff from Robin Hood. And the guy from... The marshal from... <laughs> The man who shot Liberty Valance is Friar Tuck. There, got it. And I don't need anyone else to explain that to me because I figured it out all on my own. And then, oh yeah, and then I wanted to Google, you probably won't be interested in this, but I will. Moss and rags were used in a sling under the baby to absorb the pee and the poo. Nappies weren't invented until sometime in the 40s, I think. When were... That invented. Yeah, 1947 by a Scottish housewife. Well, there you go. I just quickly read that, so it might be wrong. I like knowing random facts from history. Anyway, what was your favorite Back to the Future movie? I think I'll have to say, oh, I, I can't say, <laughs> I can't say. I think probably the first one, just because it's like, it's the first one and it's all new and you're like, oh my God, all of this, this has not been done before and this is like fantastic and amazing and well done everyone involved. <laughs> and then this, oh no, but I really, really like the second one because the second one was, oh, I just don't know. I don't know, I can't say. I really would do want to watch more time travel movies, but I'm just scared that I don't understand them. <laughs> Does anyone else, like, your brain goes round in circles because you're like, oh yeah, I got it. And then you're like, oh, but wait, if that happened, then that happened. And then it just keeps going round and round and round. Um, and it's very, it's, it makes me tired. <laughs> I feel sad. Right, this is, this is exactly why you guys like watching someone else watching it for the first time. Because I feel sad now that I've watched them and that, that now that it's over. Now it's over and I want to now show someone else. But I know everyone else has seen them, so I'm like, well, who do I show? <laughs> is, it, is anyone, anyone else out there that hasn't seen these movies? <laughs> anyone alive out there that hasn't seen Back to the Future? My kids, my kids are gonna be the ones that get to see all these and I'll be, instead of watching the movie, I'll be watching them, I'll be like, why, why are you not reacting the way I reacted? And how awesome, I think I've said it in every one of them, but the I just love it. It gives me like goosebumpies. I don't know what's wrong with me there. I felt very emotional. Like when they started talking about the 80s and then I was like, oh, the Marx Brothers were born, not in the, no, not the 80s, the 1880s. I think the Marx Brothers were all born 
in the 1880s and went so when they were talking about that i was like oh the marx brothers and then i got really sad because they're all gone and then like other things through the movie i was like oh they're they're in love and i was being such a sap <laughs> i'm not normally this bad I'm, I'm gonna have to go and like buy a shit ton of chocolate or something and just go like lie in bed and cry <laughs> Now that now that Back to the Future's over, that's I'm um, depressed and depressed forever. Is it, are they going to make another one? Because I think when I googled that there was only three, so there was things saying Back to the Future four, but I really don't think they need to be doing that. That's like the whole Indiana Jones thing. Just keep it to the good ones and don't don't be bringing anything else up unless you know unless you know it's going to be a cracker of a movie, and then that's fine. That's allowed, but don't. Yeah, don't be messing with the classics. Don't be messing with what what we all know is brilliant movies. I also wanted to ask how Michael J. Fox is getting on. I I would Google it, but I can't right now because I'm too sad already. And if like if I Google that and there's like bad news, then I don't I think that would just send me over the edge. I know Christopher Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, it's Christopher Lloyd. He's fine. I think. <laughs> is, he, is he fine? Is he, is, he's maybe a bit mad, but he's fine. We saw him in Nobody as a as an old man that just likes to destroy people without warning. But yeah, Michael J. Fox, is he doing okay? Or not so much? I, I, I hate, I hate that. Like, I just hate that whole situation. I'm not going to talk about it because I will. I will start to cry and I, I do feel really sad for him. Okay, on a more positive note, let's talk about Einstein. How freaking cute is that doggy? I love, love, love doggies so bloody much, but I can't have one because you're probably a way to guess that I'm allergic to dogs and I, I am, but once when I live with a dog, I'm fine because I don't know, I guess I get used to them. So I have had dogs, but I can't have one because I'm so damn busy all the time with my stuff and with the family stuff and we're always out of the house and we're never... The dogs are so tiring and I really, that's one thing that I wish somehow I could have my own dog and I can't. So um, that's... God's sake, I, this was meant to be a positive note. I keep like, right, I'm just going to go because I keep... I keep being sad and that's not that's not what this channel is about that is not it so let's be happy let's smile let's not be hormonal and the next movie I watch I'm just gonna have to make sure that it's like the best funniest ever movie ever so do your suggestion things and tell me what's the best ever funniest ever movie ever there you go and i'm gonna go before i i do actually cry and make everyone else cry if you like this video please give it a great big thumbs up if you plan to stay in and you haven't already then please subscribe do everything that you can to help the channel grow and i will love you forever and check out patreon guys there's heaps happening over there lots of new things lots of cheaper things and that is it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.